Hello everyone. I want to welcome you to How to Create a Life of Abundance. First of all, my name is Jay Henson and I am the founder and creator of It's Our Time to Be Free. The reason why I created It's Our Time to Be Free is because I lived a life of struggle. I lived a life full of pain. And it wasn't until in my 40s when I really started changing my life. That was because I was introduced to the law of attraction. The law of attraction taught me that if I change my thoughts, I change my life. Then I started diving more into my spirituality. So I started combining the two because both of them were similar. So I started applying the, the techniques, the strategies, the, the methods that, that the law of attraction and my spirituality taught me to start to create a life of abundance for myself. Now we're going to talk about the life of abundance, but I just want you to know that your life can change. You do not have to live in pain. You do not have to live in poverty. You don't have to live in lack because we live in a abundant world. And so that's what I want to share with you today within this training video how did you can actually start creating a life of abundance for yourself so I hope you enjoy this series and uh, I look forward to talking to you soon take care first of all we're going to talk about what will you learn in this video series first thing we're going to talk about is what is abundance because we have to know what abundance is before we can start to manifest it in our life. Next is what abundance means to you. Have you ever thought about what abundance means to you? Because abundance can mean different things to different people. So we want to talk about and try to discover what abundance actually means to you. Then we're going to talk about what are you lacking in order to manifest you know the things that you desire in life and in order since now we know what abundance is we know what abundance means to you we're gonna and what you're lacking we're gonna talk about how does abundance work then we're gonna dive into the importance of having an abundant mindset and how important is your faith when you're trying to manifest, when you're trying to attract what you want in your life? And finally, we're going to dive into how to attract exactly what you want. All right, guys. So what is abundance? We're going to go over some basic things about abundance, okay? Now, here's the basics. Abundance is basically a, a, is a state of mind. You see, there's actually an amazing inner world, you know, existing beyond what you can actually see with your eyes. This world contains all the essential things such as resources, power, wealth, and it also includes the real meaning of your existence. It is the work that allows you to live a life fully live large, do and be anything that you want to be. The problem is though, most people are only aware of what they can actually experience using their five senses. And most define abundance as only material things. Most also fail to utilize their most powerful God-given gift beyond their five senses. You see, our, our current social programming, it neglects to teach us what true abundance is. In order to create and attract true abundance in your life, we have to have a new understanding. So first and foremost, you should understand that developing abundance in life is an excellent skill set to have. And it's a skill that you should learn and remind yourself with in order for you to have abundance flowing right into your life. There are a lot of people that believe that you have to operate from your highest form. And that highest form would be your soul or spirit level because it creates the connection to source your needed energy. Now, when this becomes your truth, then you will begin to discover and realize that you really need to operate from your highest potential. 
with your current social programming and upbringing, you have actually neglected to connect with your higher plane. This higher plane will help you guide your creative forces and energies that you already possess. So first, learn the skill of creating abundance. And when you do, this will open the floodgates of riches, wealth, and prosperity into your daily life. Okay, so we learned the basics of what abundance is. So now we're going to dive into what does abundance mean to you? So what does abundance mean to you? What does it really mean to you? I know you hear the word a lot, but have you ever really thought about what true abundance and wealth really is? And most importantly, how can you experience more from it in your life? Do you believe that abundance and wealth is possible for the different aspects of your life? The answers to these questions will be revealed by simply identifying and observing what is currently going on with the different facets of your own life. What's going on in your life financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually? Look at those areas of your life to determine what is actually going on. You know, there are a lot of people that claim of having an exceptionally good life, quote unquote. But this determination is often made from what they've been taught and their perceptions and beliefs that, that they hold. So, and it's based on a limited understanding about what is a good life, what the good life really means. In reality, the achievement of abundance and real wealth is infinite in nature, but is equally available for anyone willing to identify and enhance their skills and abilities to start choosing whatever it is they prefer to experience. And yes, you are not an exception to this rule. As you will discover your source, whatever you perceive it to be, it consists of a limitless supply of whatever you want to experience in life provided that you choose to believe and conceive that you can ha that you can have it but sadly there are a lot of people that make make choices unconsciously they never truly understand why they're unable to have abundance have harmony and fulfillment in their life so if this is you try not uh, try asking yourself these questions Am I, having true, am I having true happiness and abundance in my life? Do I love my work and find it financially rewarding and fulfilling? Am I having enough time to do the things I love the most? Do I really have sufficient money to do all the things I want to do? Or what about, am I enjoying wholesome, deeply satisfying and fulfilling relationships? And am I having a vigorous and vivacious physical health? And are my dreams and my wants fulfilled in the different aspects of my life? If you answer no to these questions, then you're not enjoying and experiencing a quality of life that everyone is capable of having. Abundance and wealth means different things from different people. For some, abundance may be identified as having lots of money. And based on other perspectives and beliefs, it may actually mean something totally different. Although enough financial resources mean a lot to people, since it is a very essential facet of abundance and wealth in today's generation, but money only makes up a tiny portion from the entire equation when it comes to real abundance. Unless all the other essential aspects of your life are aligned harmoniously, the experience of real abundance and fulfillment that is available to you will elude you continually, and it will appear to be impossible and unattainable. So lasting and true abundance and wealth will result from a perfect balance in the fundamental areas of your life. If you are currently not living a life of abundance, we have to find out what are you lacking? What are the missing pieces to finally create abundance in your life? All right, now we're going to take a look at what you may be lacking. 
regardless of regardless of your age everyone has questions and doubts about their life's direction you might feel bored or you might be busy with with a lot of projects you might be feeling empty romantically or maybe you feel depressed because you have a job that's a that feels like it's a dead end or maybe you may even feel trapped in a certain situation like family drama, kids, or marriage. There are actually a lot of people who keep themselves busy by having mundane projects to do in order to provide a purpose to their life. But most of them, they're, they are unhappy and unsatisfied. They're just passing the time, giving themselves something to perceive as being important. But at least these people are trying. Everyone needs to feel something. You need to have that feeling of making a huge difference in life from time to time. Some people are quite restless. The reason why is because they give themselves a lot of projects. It definitely gives them something fresh and new to learn and discover, allowing them to keep on learning and growing and never become stagnant. There's a lot of reasons why you might feel like there is something lacking in your life. Your heart, body, and mind let you know and feel like you're incomplete. You feel this lack of purpose and passion. Without natural passion and purpose, you start to feel that emptiness inside. The projects and activities that you engage yourself in they may seem routine, like you're on autopilot. The time passes by and you feel like nothing of great value and essence is being achieved and accomplished in your life. All right, guys, now we're going to be looking at uh, the, some, of the, some examples of some of the things that you may be lacking in your life, all right? <clears throat> and here are some missing pieces that you may find that uh, are lacking. Um, are you doing meaningful work? How's your social life? Are you making good use of your skills? What about your relationships? What about your finances? Are you lacking in your fitness area? Or you know, are you at the weight or are you as healthy as you want to be? Your love life. Do you have a lifelong partner or are you searching for love? What about your health? You know, are you in, in, in good shape? And your spirituality, have you been able to discover who you are? You know, and, and really dig deep to find out your passion and your purpose in life? Okay, everyone. Regaining your real purpose in life, as well as that having that essential feeling that everything you do in life actually has meaning, is important for you for your fulfillment and you and for you to experience real happiness now if you need to suppress yourself because you have too many boundaries then you may need to do some adjusting you know in order to allow more freedom and flexibility to flow into your life now if you're one that has too much time on your hands now this is a dilemma for a lot of people because when you have too much time on your hands it can feel really really depressing you won't be able to feel worthy at all because you're not utilizing your time to do something meaningful what people are actually missing in life is not all external things but it's actually internal things because it's often an emotion or a feeling that's not being achieved or met to put it simply you are the obstacle that is preventing you from being happy or you might be feeling like you are missing or lacking something. This is because you are the only person who is in charge of your life. Now, when you start to identify the things that you are lacking and you discover the missing pieces, you begin to appreciate the things that you have accomplished and all the things that you have. Basically, you're expressing gratitude. When you do that, you can now focus on filling in the gaps. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about how does abundance work? 
All right. I understand a lot of people have different definitions of abundance. So we want to get clear on how abundance works so that we can, you know, create that life of abundance that we are desiring. Okay. So let's jump right into it. All right. Let me start off by asking you a couple of questions. Are you having problems with your finances? Do you often feel that you aren't experiencing real success that you want in life? If so, you should establish an absolute and strong connection and relationship with your higher self. What do I mean about your higher self? Your true self, your authentic self. When you do this, you will automatically experience better and more success and abundance in your life. Your higher self is the real you. And it's the nature of abundance. It's the nature of where real abundance comes from. Your higher self is connected to a stream of success and abundance, as well as with the light that flows constantly from the spirit of the universe. But the dilemma here is that so many people, you know, they narrow down that path where abundance flows because they're limited thinking and false beliefs and perceptions that they have. They have bad habits, they have negative thoughts. When you take the essential steps of reuniting with your higher self, you will be able to find the abundance valve and open it bigger and bigger, allowing more and more abundance to flow into your life. Okay, in order to have a much better visualization of abundance energy stream, that is constantly pouring from the universe through your higher self, consider it as this huge golden channel that offers radiant energy fully flowing into your life. When you, when you open up that abundance channel, you'll be able to experience abundance, harmony, peace, joy. These are all the things that radiate from your higher self. Now you may be asking, but how? How can I get this energy of this abundance energy channel opened up? Well, we're going to tell you right here. Okay, here's what you can do in order to open up that abundance channel. Eliminate all the all the limiting and false beliefs that you have, all your false perceptions, all the negative energies that surround you and limiting thoughts that you have engaged in so far. They don't only limit the abundance flow in your life, but they also hinder your connection with the real you. If you can do something to overcome all the limiting beliefs and bad habits that you ha that you have, you'll be able to strip away, strip yourself away from all the things that are preventing abundance to flow into your life. And then you'll be able to cultivate that peace, that harmony and that joy and abundance in your life. And you can start to dissolve more negativity and strengthen and enhance your connection with the real you. This is one fact that I know for sure. Your authentic self, it knows exactly how you can be successful in life. All you have to do is trust your intuition. Once you've reconnected and reunite, reunited with your higher self, this will assist you and guide you every step of the way so that you can have abundance and, and the success that you seek. This also includes guiding you to, to fulfilling your life's mission and purpose, which will also offer you greater fulfillment and give you a much more meaningful life. Now, as you go on with your life's journey, getting rid of those limiting beliefs you'll find a whole new life ahead of you a changed life in so many wonderful ways yes there is actually a lot of work that needs to be performed but taking the right step at the right time it will reward you with continuous prosperity success and abundance in your life you see real wealth it does not just relate to your current financial situation. Real wealth includes a spirit of gratitude and abundance for the real riches in life. That's what will make you really prosperous. This is how abundance really works in life. The most important step 
you can take in life in order for you to reach your full potential and achieve abundance in life is actually starts with having the right mindset now there are a lot of different mindsets that you can use but among the most recommended and the most popular is known to be an abundant mentality this mentality is the exact opposite of a scarcity mentality now a scarcity mentality is basically rooted in fear it's the fear of not having enough not having enough things and the fear of just losing having this type of mindset you are actually living your life under a false belief that supply resources money lovers friends that they're limited this is definitely a sense of insecurity now on the other hand an abundant mentality is rooted in confidence and positivity with this you strongly believe that resources are limitless for you to achieve the things that you want in life and that life needs no worries such as worrying about money you can achieve this by believing that money is abundant in this world because it actually is you know that in an opportunity when an opportunity doesn't turn out good there are plenty of other opportunities out there just waiting for you to discover so when negative things happen it won't affect you so those who are living in a, with an abundant mindset or those who have the right mindset they don't fear difficult situations or obstacles because even if things don't turn out according to plan there are still lots of opportunities ahead of them and chances chances that um, it can actually help them achieve abundance in different aspects of their life you see every person they have this unique ability of manifesting all the things that they want at will all you need to do is have and be equipped and equip yourself with the right attitude and the right mindset so next we're going to go over some traits that a person should possess to attract abundance in their life here we have three traits that you should possess in order to start attracting abundance into to your life the first one is gratitude then we have belief and then there is action all right let's start with gratitude because there are a lot of things that you should be grateful for regardless of your life situation be thankful and appreciate all the little things because being grateful it will attract more things into your life next we have belief believe in yourself as well as in your ability of creating your own destiny and reality through your actions and through your thoughts these are the keys to unlock your inner self and your inner power you know self-doubt it can be very very harmful and, and it can even prevent you from achieving abundance and success in your life next we're going to look at action guys taking action the universe it will always pre present you with a lot of different opportunities that will actually lead you straight towards achieving your goals once these opportunities are presented to you take action don't wait for luck to to do miracles for you instead do your thing and make the make the right move for you so take inspired action now never force anything to happen learn to let things go because forcing some things to happen will will make matters worse you'll become aggravated and upset because it's not happening the way you want it to there is always a reason why things happen but even if that's true you can always turn things the other way around because you have the power of doing so you see getting into the right mindset to achieve real abundance in life is really the best thing you can ever do life is supposed to be happy and joyful you should love what you're doing and you should see to it that your real passion is is expressed remember the power of attracting abundance is right within you and within having the right mindset guys let me let you in on a little secret the importance of faith guys having faith 
it really equals having a multitude of abundance and prosperity in your life. It is essential for you to know how important it is to take the necessary steps so that you can increase and improve your faith. Faith will open doors to limitless resources, limitless creative power, abundance, and wealth and success in your life. No one can actually advance further and better in their life than their faith in God themselves and the faith in achieving their goals in life. Guys, faith, it leads you to all great achievements. It is a creative force that will let you produce quantifiable things. And through strong faith, that's where the greatest inventions and discoveries are made. Guys, a person who is supported by strong faith, they will be the one who will persist and achieve the things that they seek in life. Now, when we are missing faith, in in life and in God and in it towards yourself and your purpose it's actually it's actually a hindering factor you know that is preventing you from being successful and prosperous guys without faith you won't be able to achieve real abundance in life guys you can measure your faith from a lot of different aspects but without a strong faith in God you actually are limiting yourself God created you for success. He didn't create you for failure. God wants you to achieve the things you want and he wants you to prosper. So I encourage you to have great positive affirmations. Increase your faith and it will keep all the doubts away. Use your strong faith to help you prosper and achieve abundance in different aspects of your life because God created you for success. Now we're gonna talk about how to attract more of what you want. Do you want to attract exactly the things that you want in your life? If your answer is yes, then first we have to really gain the understanding that everything is energy. Everything in this world is actually made up of energy, including you. And the first step that you should take to attract the things that you want is to shift or change your energy. You see, people really pick up on your energy. If your energy is positive, you will begin to attract positive things and positive people into your life. But if your energy is negative, you will attract negative situations and negative people right into your life. If you think that you're getting the things that you don't like in life or you're not getting the things that you really want, then there's a great possibility that you're sending off the wrong energy. To put this simply, you attract things that correspond and match your energy. Positive energy attracts positive situations and the other way around. It's really just that simple. So if you are not attracting the things that you want, you should shift your energy and you will start attracting exactly the things that you want in life. Well, what is this energy made up of you, okay? Your energy is something that is based on your beliefs and thoughts. You see, your subconscious mind, it picks up on the beliefs and thoughts that you have. It creates situations that corresponds with your beliefs and your thoughts. In addition to that, other people also pick up on your energy because it's actually on their subconscious level. So what I mean by that is they are not consciously aware of your energy yet, of your energy, yet they develop these feelings about you based on your energy. So if you actually have negative energy, the chances are you will attract negative situations and negative people. And of course, you will repel all the positive situations and positive people. So if you are always negative, if you don't believe that you can achieve anything, you always think in the worst outcomes, or if you're always putting people down, you know, at the end of the day, you will attract more negativity into your life, allowing more negative people and situations into your life. So if you see yourself as one of those people, 
Ask yourself, how can I change this negative energy so that I can start attracting more positivity into my life? So if you want to turn your negativity into a, into a positive life, you need to change how you see and perceive things. Perceive things. You know, start by eliminating your negative beliefs and your negative thoughts. This will definitely change your energy within. When you do this, you will begin to attract the things that you most want in life. This only means that you have to focus more on the positive situations. Find the good in everything. Practice gratitude. Understand and believe that everything will turn out just fine. Guys, we have to look for solutions to your problems and stop complaining. Transform yourself into a more understanding person. Embrace change. Embrace the reality and the essence of change. And then look for the opportunities and stop focusing on the problems. And stop believing the worst things will happen. All right? So that is how you're going to start changing that that negative energy to a more positive energy guys we always in the end we all want to win we all want to have a prosperous abundant life living life full of happiness and joy so we have to begin to change our thinking we change our life so if you can focus on the positive things in life again express gratitude for the simplest things for the air that you breathe express gratitude every day focus on solving the problem and look for the good in everything you will begin to attract positive experiences into your life and you if you do it on a consistent basis then it becomes a habit and you won't have to you won't have to work as hard but the initial step is taking the first step to changing your life so to go ahead and wrap this up guys living your life abundantly it really starts from thinking abundantly prosperity and abundance is always available for anyone to obtain for you to have more abundance in your life you have to begin by being aware becoming aware and and conscious about the abundance that you already have in your life you can't experience abundance in yesterday or even tomorrow but only at this present moment in time you can actually become aware about the riches that you have the blessings that you have it's your abundant life right here in this present moment today guys understand that abundance it doesn't start with material treasure or wealth but it actually manifests with a strong faith and with dedicated action consider abundance as a state of your mind and it arises from the feeling of having that gratitude and being grateful for all the things that you currently have in life open your heart to receive and then participate in the art of giving abundant living comes when you live to give remember one of the secrets of living abundantly is through the art of giving don't let the spirit of fear prevent you from giving you can actually give abundantly you know to live abundantly share consider abundance as an energy flow once abundance reaches you don't keep it all to yourself instead share it with other people and can and allow it to continue to flow whatever you want in life rather is happiness inner peace a peace of mind contentment joy wealth success it will come to you only if you're ready to have it with an open and grateful heart you see abundance just doesn't occur by an opportunity or chance alone 
It is actually by seizing the day as well as accepting all responsibility that will help mold your future. It is seeing what people do not see and pursue that vision. So in order for you to experience abundance in life, you should first decide and identify what abundance really means for you. Then you should see yourself as already being abundant. But most importantly, you should begin by giving to others in any way you can. You will eventually receive in multitudes from the, from the abundance that you bring to the life of other people. Become aware and grateful for all the abundance around you, the brilliant sunset, the voice of your loved ones, your child's touch. Consider every breath and act of gratefulness and love as gifts. Never take anything for granted. Focus on the abundance that you want to achieve in, in your life, the, the way you want other people to treat you, the things that you want to have, even the success and the things that often make you happy. Realize that you can create them all by focusing on the things that you want in life. The universe will always be consistent. It responds to all your focus in life. Anything you focus on, the universe is going to deliver it to you. So appreciate all the things that you already have. The universe, it wants to guide you. It wants to help you. But you have to trust. You have to have that faith to know that everything that you want is within your reach and then you can manifest anything that you want in your life so let me ask you are you ready to experience abundance in your life if so let's take the next steps